when I'm putting reverb on vocals, I I do a load of things actually. I print a I've got a EMT plate, so I print that. I print a master room spring. I've got a, a selection of rack springs. I'll print them. I'll use Seventh Heaven on the bus. I'll use Bricastis on the desk. I'll use the Tegler. I mean, there are there's no kind of limit. And then I'll use delays that will, will will only be reverb. You know, there won't actually be any delay in the signal. I'll I'll do anything to make a vocal sit or whether, you know, if I want it to be spacey or dubby, you know, each section of the song will have a different effect. There's really no no end to what what I'll do to, to make something sound interesting. Only when you start, basically, can you build up and, and get more complex with what it is that you're trying to achieve. By the end of it, you understand kind of what non-linear verbs are and how you can make bass drums that sound like prints and things like that on the AMS.